Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Premi Daka and you are listening to Subhash Chandran. If you are a new viewer and interested to learn piping design, I kindly request you to subscribe to my channel to motivate me because this is the only motivation through which I can put more videos, I'll be able to share more of my experience because in this world at this point of time learning from others experience is the most easiest way to grow. So without wasting time, let's get into today's video and today's video is about the role of pipe supports in piping. If you had worked in piping for few years, you must know the type of pipe supports, how it is used and where it is used. But do we really understand the importance and the role of pipe supports in piping? That is what I am going to cover in this video. Pipe supports are generally meant to protect the piping system. But how and in what aspect? If you look at the pipe support, pipe support plays a vital role in many aspects. One of the important aspects is to support and retain the piping in place. If you look at the piping during operation, piping subjected to various changes such as due to temperature change, pressure change, flow rate change and due to the forces from associated equipment such as pumps, compressors, turbines and also an wind effect. All these forces changes the behavior of piping. So it is really important to retain the piping in its original place to get the benefit of the operation and to support the operation. So this is one of the primary importance of pipe support. Let's move on to the point number two. Point number two is to take the loads during thermal expansion. If you look at the picture that I have shown on the sides, you will be able to understand that how piping shifted its position during thermal expansion. So without supports, piping will move further away to damage the nearby piping. So it is really important to have a pipe supports to limit the movement of the piping. And also piping supports takes the load of piping that has been transferred during the thermal expansion. So pipe support needs to be designed in such a way to, be, to withstand the load of movement during thermal expansion. Let's move on to point number three. Point number three is to take wind loads. Pipe supports needs to be designed in such a way it can withstand the wind loads. That too when height increases, the effect of wind is also increases and wind force not only acts in one direction, it acts in multiple direction at different times. So it is really important to take care of the wind loads. So pipe supports takes care of the wind effect so that the piping will be safe enough to operate. Let's move on to point number four. Point number four is to take earthquake loads like wind effect earthquake loads also has a huge impact on piping system. You know why? Because process plant operates with hazardous chemicals and gases. So during in case of earthquakes and accidents, it is really important to protect the piping. Otherwise, the gases and chemicals that goes out of the piping can harm the environment and also it takes the lives of the people. So it is really important to design the piping system and the pipe supports in such a way that it can also designed in such a way that it works during the earthquake as well. Let's move on to point number five. Point number five is to control vibrations and noises. Equipment such as compressors, pumps and turbines generates vibrations in the piping system. Vibration creates a high noise that is not bearable for human being and also it can damage the stability and the integrity of the piping. So it is really important to control the vibrations and noises and pipe supports and through pipe supports we can really control the vibrations in the piping system. Let's go to point number six. Point number six is to take hydraulic thirst. Hydraulic thirst is generated during the flow of the fluid while it is hitting the piping components such as elbows and valves. This hydraulic thirst get transferred to the pipe supports. If pipe supports are not designed properly, it can damage the piping system. So pipe support generally takes the hydraulic thirst. So it has to be designed in such a way that it can also withstand the load of hydraulic thirst. Let's go to point number seven. Point number seven is to support during transient period. Transient period is nothing but when one pump operates and other pumps remains in shutdown. There will be a temperature difference, so pipe tend to move abnormally during this temperature difference. So pipe support needs to be designed in such a way that it can take care of the movement of the piping during the transient period. Let's move on to point number 8. Point number 8 is to support the piping during maintenance. Let's look at the picture given over here. Two supports are provided, S1 and S2. Imagine that the valve is taken out for maintenance. What will happen? If the pipes are not supported properly, the pipe will fall down. So it is really important to provide proper supports. So it is one of the responsibility of the pipe supports to ensure that the pipings are in place even during maintenance. I guess now you will be able to understand the importance of pipe supports. So I would like to conclude that piping systems without proper supports are highly dangerous. Thanks for listening to me and thanks for watching my videos. If you are a new viewer, I kindly request you to subscribe to my channel because that gives me motivation to do more videos and to share more of my knowledge with you. But I won't compel you, I won't force you to do it. You can only if you feel that this channel is worth enough to get subscribed. Thank you once again. If you like this video, give me a like and share it with your friends which helps me to grow my channel. I'll meet you in another fantastic video. Until then, bye from Subhash Chandra.